Then we are agreed. The disputed Norse Farian territory will be ceded to the Empire. In return, the Empire will pay annual compensation to the League Council for a period of ten years. Done! I welcome this graceful solution to another of our long-standing problems. This is truly a joyous day, gentlemen. On behalf of the League and the monarchy of Norrister, I praise you for your tireless work, Dukes. You have Eucris's thanks as well. How marvelous that peace between us will be sustained. Unless the esteemed General Goldwyn plans to hang up his uniform, I wouldn't dream of quarreling with the Empire. Nor I with you, King Valmoris. We all know the ferocity of Kanani warriors, and I fear I would be outmatched. Hear, hear. Today's meeting has been an excellent demonstration of what we might accomplish together. If I may, Dukes Aldrich. Hmm? Groom's daughter, was it? Periel Groom, Your Grace. Such an honor to meet you. P Periel? You're, uh, you're an adjunct, so you're only here to facilitate. Quite so. And as such, I would like to facilitate a discussion about why, after giving the Galdian Empire the primal lens we found half a year ago, we've received no reports as to how the research is progressing. And perhaps I might also facilitate an explanation as to why they haven't paid their share of the costs. <laughs> I'd heard that Count Groom's heir was sharp as a tack and twice as prickly, and I see the rumors are true. My apologies, Miss Groom. The Primal Lens is a rare artifact. Even the Empire has never seen its like. As such, its study is taking longer than we initially anticipated. However, you have my assurances that we will respect your contributions and share our findings as soon as possible. I will also ensure you receive payment by the time you depart. I believe you're staying with us a few days longer. Indeed, Your Grace. It's a beautiful city, and I was hoping to explore it. Also, it's Countess Groom, not Miss. Ariel, no! <laughs> My deepest apologies, dear Countess. I pray you enjoy the rest of your stay in Galdea. Please, don't ever do that again, milady. Oh, thought my heart might stop. They asked me to facilitate. I facilitated. You demanded, milady, and to Dukes Aldrich, no less. The man whose influence in the Empire is surpassed only by the Emperor himself. I'm well aware, Jenquis. I simply don't like the man. What do you mean? The Dukes has gone out of his way to make peace with us. That Norsfaria purchase gives him Fort Atlas, which is the perfect foothold for invading League lands. And he got it for a song, especially when compared to taking it the hard way. Also... Also? I can't stand his smug face. Oh, anyway, enough of that. We're going out tonight. So long as I'm here, I intend to sample Galdia's finest. Very good, milady. I hear tell of a regional speciality where they melt the cheese just so, and... Oh. 
hey, new guy. Getting used to the watch? Uh, <laughs> I've been at it for half a year. Two days less than you, remember? Ha, what a kidder. Anyway, I'm gonna head over to the mess hall. Not like we got anything better to do these days. Well, she never changes. Oh? Aha! Good to see you. <laughs> right away! Ah, Noah. Perfect timing. Gotta talk to you. What is it? As I'm sure you know, the watch has got a pretty high turnover. People come, people go. And they all got their reasons. Heck, even Mimi took off. Went south to you, Chris, on some kind of warrior journey or whatever. That's why I want you to take my place as captain for a while. Well, I'm not planning to up and vanish anytime soon. I think it'd be good practice. Yeah, it'll be good. Wait, what? You're making Noah the acting captain? I've got seniority by two days. You should have asked me. I did ask you. You said, and I quote, that sounds like a pain in the butt. Mm, yep, that sounds like me, all right. Fine then, Noah. I officially dubbed thee Acting Captain. Well, Noah, what you say? Sure, I'll do it. See? Decisive. That's what I like about you. Now, for your first assignment, let's go tell Emir what's going on. Need something? I'm gonna be letting Noah take over as captain for a while. <sighs> You would do that to me. Did it ever occur to you that I might have my own plans for how to allocate our resources? Why it's my job to create order out of this shoddy ragtag outfit is beyond me. I'd quit on the spot if it weren't for her ladyship. Hey, it is what it is. Going forward, Noah chooses our teams. And if you catch wind of any jobs, you set him up. Jobs? Oh, there's no shortage of those. I thought the watch was created as a reserve force to assist the standing army in times of crisis, but it seems I was mistaken. Because the rest of the land clearly sees us as some kind of glorified errand runners. Ah, oh, why me? Why? Why? Right then. What sort of job would please the watch's finest? Tiger hunting! Not listed. Wolf hunting! Anything related to hunting, not listed. However, the watch is shorthanded. If you meet anyone gullible enough, <laughs> capable enough, then kindly recruit them. Can I trust you with that, oh great captain? Just Noah is fine. <laughs> Don't let me down, oh mighty captain. If you bring home recruits, I'll consider letting you thicken out your team. In the meantime, I can't spare anyone. You got it! We'll show them what the watch is made of! Fair enough.
Oh, yikes! Sorry. I was in a hurry. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know the way to Redthroat Ridge, would ya? Supposedly it's east of here? Help a girl out? Well, um, you've got the direct... Yes! All right, evildoer. Here comes Magical Girl Malore, ready to dole out equal helpings of love and justice. Thanks, mister. I don't know, but I got so caught up in it that I didn't think to stop her. We can't let a little kid wander into Redthroat Ridge alone. Come on! There she is! Um, excuse me, Mr. Soldier? Hmm? What's the matter? Could you tell me which way is east? I'm trying to get to Redthroat Ridge. Oh, well, that's, uh... Got it, thanks! Okay, Malore, back to work. No rest for the righteous. She's on the move again. We'd better hurry. Exercise. I feel stronger. He was pretty slick holding up in a place like this. But there's no pulling the wool over the eyes of justice! Magical girl Malore sees all! Huh? Who are you? Hey, wait a second. You look kind of shady. Are you bad guys or something? Well, guess what? You're about to see the error of your ways! What? I'm not shady. Nobody disturbs the peace on my watch. By the light of my guiding rune, and in the name of love and justice too, magical girl Malore is coming to get ya! Oh no, you've gotta be... Take no prisoners! Magical cutie missile! Oops, sorry. I thought for sure you were villains. That's what I get for judging a book by its cover. I won't make that mistake again. Do I really look that shady? Yeesh. So, what brings you out here? Oh, well, we ran into you back in Altus Vice. You mentioned Redthroat Ridge and I thought, that's not good. This used to be a bandit stronghold. And there are dangerous creatures on the prowl, too. Trust me, I did a job here once. It's no place for a kid. 
So, you came all the way out here to stop me, even though you don't even know my name? Actually, you've shouted your name like seven times now, so I think I've got that. Okay, well that settles it then. You must be a good person. So, tell me about this group you're in, The Watch. Is it some kind of super justice squad? Sure, let's go with that. So, in other words... What you're suggesting is that we team up and fight evil! Magical Girl Malor meets Noah's Super Squad! It's bold. I like it! What? No, I'm here to talk you out of this. And... What evil? There's a real nasty monster holed up in this pass. And I'm not talking the garden variety. It's packing some seriously dangerous magic. If we don't stop it, something awful is bound to happen. And you were planning to face it alone? Hey, I wouldn't be much of a magical girl if I wasn't ready to get knocked down a few times. But I always pick myself right back up. <sighs> All right, you win. We'll help you take down the monster. Yes! Love and justice, your new tag team is here! Let's get this show on the road. Our monster target is that away. There's something I need to take care of. Are you kidding me? B -b but that terrible monster is still on the loose. It's bursting with evil magic, which is bad news for everyone. I know. I swear this won't take long. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll stay on watch here, but you'd better make it quick. Stop resisting, bandit! For the last time, I'm not a bandit! I'm a desperado! It's the same thing. Damn it! I didn't attack your stupid village! It's true! I came from a place where you rode your bronc like the wind, and sometimes you did bad stuff. But I'm done with that life! What's going on here? Nothing that concerns you, Bob. So unless you want to get dragged into this, I suggest you keep walking. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. Why is this guy under suspicion? Are you kidding me? Look at how he's dressed! He couldn't be any more suspicious! Oh yeah, great sleuthing, Inspector Dumbface! I wear these duds because they were a gift for my desperado brothers. I'd rather die than change out of him. It does seem like you're accusing him based on how he looks. I'm not taking any chances. Bandits have been raiding our villages near the Imperial border. Didn't you hear? I can't believe you would accost somebody like this based on how they're dressed. Let me take it from here. And who are you supposed to be? I'm Noah from the Eltis Vice Watch. Oh, you're one of her ladyships. Fine. If you think you know so much better, you handle him. We don't need the trouble anyway.
What do you think you're doing? It's okay. You can trust me. You said you didn't attack the village, right? <laughs> Finally! Someone with ears! I don't know what's wrong with you that you defend this guy. If anything bad happens, it's on you. Yep, got it. On me. Don't make me regret this. Thanks for the save, man. You're one upstanding guy. This has got to be fate or something. What do you say you let me join up with you? I came here to do big things. And I mean big. Big in what way? Big in a big way! What kind of question is that? The name's Yusuke. You're looking at one of the world's future titans. We're gonna make waves together, boss. I just know it! Welcome to the ranks. See, this guy knows what he's talking about.
Greetings. I've got a number of pelts for sale today. Can I interest you? Uh... You know, I don't think we've met before. The name's Kuroto, and I'm a hunter by trade. This here crossbow's been my partner for longer than I care to remember. Together, we can snipe with more accuracy than any elf. That's quite a claim. Wait, yeah, I smell it now. You're trying to achieve something great, aren't you? Uh... I've been at this for a long time, and it's given me a keen sense of smell. There's not much that gets past me. The truth is, I'm seeking new companions to fight in my side. Of course you are. And here's the part where you tried to win me over, right? Another tried before, years ago. But if you're thinking to impress me with a show of prowess, think again. There's not a man or woman alive who can match me with a crossbow. Let's say I wanted to impress you anyway. Hmm. If you're that determined, you must have a good reason. How's this? Hunt me three wild boars. You'll find some in Redthroat Ridge to the east. Get your grimy hand away from me, scumbag! You want me to chop off your fingers and start shoving them up where the sun don't shine? Huh? Huh? That's weird. Oh, good day to you, sir. I heard some really nasty shouting. Are you okay? Did you come to check on me? That is so incredibly sweet of you. What a kind heart you have. My name is Francesca. Might I inquire as to yours? I'm Noah, from The Watch. Well, I am just tickled to meet you, Noah. This is an auspicious encounter indeed. I don't suppose the Watch is looking for healers? I command quite potent restorative magic, if I may be so bold. That's her. That's the one I was telling you about. Gave the broad a compliment and she flipped her lid on me. That sweet little number? <laughs> if you say so. Hey, sugar. You want to come along with us and help clear up a little misunderstanding you had with my friend? Don't worry, Buttercup. We ain't gonna hurt you. Wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> what do you guys want? Stand back, Francesca. I'll handle this. Oh, Noah. We've only just met and you're willing to put yourself in danger for me? I don't know what to say. 
I'm sure anyone would do the same. Hmm. How I wish that were true. Since there does seem to be a misunderstanding, I believe it's best I clear it up. You're very gracious, Noah. But please, if I may? I can't let you leave with these men. Who knows what might happen? Oh, <laughs> I have some idea. You needn't worry about me. I'm a healer. Should things get heated, I have a gift for calming even the most agitated of hearts. Please, allow me to demonstrate. Don't make me go over there and break you, you gropey little pasty-faced, pigeon-licking, garbage-breath punks! Go fall off the mother-forsaken map! Yeah! Yeep! Or does your friend have a chronic case of stupidity? Cause I'm pretty sure I told you to keep your hands out of my zone, yeah? Or did I break a your widow head in with my big, big words? I'll say it again, real slow for you and your moron friends. I do not like you. I do not ever want to see you again. And if I do, you're dead. You hear me? Dead! Now get the hell out of my sight, maggots! <laughs> Going! So, Noah, where were we? Ah, oh, yes. I'm Francesca, and I would like to offer my healing magic to your cause, if it pleases you, of course. You have a place with us. Oh, I'm so delighted to hear that. Thank you, Noah. Huh? You selling something? We're looking for capable people to join the Eltisvice Watch. Yeah, I've heard that name all right. Got my own mission, though, so... A mission, is it? Cloaks, daggers, that sort of thing? Generally. Well then, how about this? I'll help you with your mission, and in turn, you can help me with mine. You are gonna help me. Buddy, you don't even know what the mission is. Could be I'm out for blood, looking to part innocent heads from quaking shoulders and all that. Mmm, you don't seem the type. And that being the case, I don't see the harm in helping. Actually, most folks would say I'm exactly the type. Question is whether you're keener than some or stupider than most. 
Last chance. Next time I ask you to help, you're gonna be bound to it. If you say it's a vital mission, I trust you. <laughs> you're even nuttier than I thought, and I love it. Know what? I'll join you. My mission can wait. Something tells me I'm in for a wild ride if I stick with you. Lead the way, then. Gar, you old dog. It's been too long. What in blazes are you doing back here, Sabine? Last I heard, you were off quelling some kind of rebellion in Canaan. Oh, it's quelled. Thought I'd come rest my bones here for a while in the meantime, but... But what? Got assigned a recon mission. Gonna be patrolling our northern border with the Empire. I've got a bad feeling about this one, Gar. Real bad. North? You got a name? Noah. See here, Noah. When you've been a merc as long as me, all it takes is one look at a man's face to know if he's long for this world. Ain't looking good, kid. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Forget it. Probably just the ale talking. The best men know life is precious, including their own. So if you gotta run, then run. And don't ever let anybody tell you that don't take true courage. And who is that delightful lady? Sabine's an old friend. Nah, she'd laugh me out of the building for that. Let's call her an old something. As Mercs go, she's long in the tooth. Probably too damn stubborn to die, honestly. And if they're sending her on a recon mission, it's because they expect things to get rough. Yikes. Come on. Let's report to Amir before he gets any more ill-tempered. to hunt down, so let's hop to it! The rune's guiding light? Magical girl Malori is it on. coming to get ya! Doesn't even count as exercise.
You want a piece of me? Step on up! Bring it on! Down low! Bring it on! Yeah, got him! Not even worth sullying my blade. By the rune's guiding light, magical Bring final four is coming to get ya! Uh, whoa. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah! Lens! Magical cutie missile! Ha! Bring it on! Not doing good here. Yeah! Ha! Yeah! Got him! We cleaned right up! Experience is strength! By the rune's guiding light, now the people on the floor is coming to get ya. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah! 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 Uh oh! Bring it on! That's what you get! Do this. Bring it on. Wow. Ah. Lens. Uh, ah. Magical cutie missile. Ah. Ah. What you get? I'm a freaking legend. Hmm, still no sign of it. 
Are you sure this magic packing super monster is even real? Of course I'm sure. The intel came straight from one of my old comrades in arms. Wait, so it was your idea to investigate this? No one asked you? Well, technically no. But it's a magical girl's duty to smack the bad guys up with love and justice before they become a menace. Seems a little presumptuous. So what? It might be a thankless job, but somebody's got to do it. And hey, who are you to talk about being presumptuous? Uh... Nobody asked you to follow me all the way out here, Mr. Worrywart. But you did, didn't you? And that's why I knew at first glance that you were a good guy. Actually, you called me shady and... Now get a move on, Noah. Love and justice aren't gonna dish themselves out. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to Lean. Challenge accepted. Bring it on. Hey, hey. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Magical cutie missile. Ah. Ow. Bring it on. Uh, ah. yeah. Evil must fall. <laughs> what a joke. Exercise. I feel stronger.
Huh? Whoa. I'm picking up some serious magic. You think it's our target? Oh, I know it's our target. It's go time, Noah. You remember how this works? Don't worry, I learn fast. Any monster that threatens the peace is in for a stomping. By the light of my guiding rune, and by the power of love and justice, magical girl Malor is coming to get ya! Evil doesn't stand a chance against the forces of good. By the light of my guiding rune, warrior of the Watch Noah is coming to get ya! Did I do it right? You did it so dang right. And this is where I bust out my secret weapon. Magical pretty grimoires! What are those two books? They're grimoires, Noah, and they help magical girls like me dole out justice. Okay, but why are there two? Pick the one closest to the monster. It's as simple as that. I don't think it is, though. Oh, come on, Noah. Believe in yourself. Injustice will find a way. Huh? Where to go? Trust your gut. Pick a book, and let's hope justice is on our side. Even mean. Cutie missile! 
the hell? When in need. What's next?
for bad guys, and that means you. When in need, pull it together. Thanks! Stop it! You were cruising for a bruising. That's why I'm the greatest and you ain't. Experience is strength! It's justice. justice! So, uh, we done here? Yep! Grimoire's deployed, monster destroyed. And now folks out there don't have to worry about a torrent of evil magic wrecking their day. You did good, Noah. Thanks. <laughs> Happy to be of service. So, here's an idea. Why don't we keep this tag team going? Except I'll help you now. It's only fair. Seriously? Yeah. You know, assuming your super squad at the watch has room for one more. You never know when a magical girl is just what the situation ordered. Well, if you're really sure. Totally. When justice calls, I'm there. So, can I ask you something? Sure, what? What exactly is a magical girl, and how is it different from a mage? Oh my gosh, are you kidding? They're like night and day. A magical girl is like one part love and one part justice, and do you want to write this down? Yume? Where are you? Yume! Who's Yume? Oh, are you travelers? Yume is my granddaughter. Did you see her along the road? She's six years old and wears her hair in a bun. I haven't seen her, I'm sorry. Why, is something wrong? She said she was going to the mountains to play with some new friend of hers. But then I heard there were sightings of some kind of big, hairy monster. I'm worried sick. If I weren't so old and frail, I'd go find her myself. I wish someone would check on her and make sure she's okay. Well, she can't have gone far. She's either at the Mountain Pass to the west or Redthroat Ridge to the east. Don't worry, I'll find her. Really? Oh, thank you, young man. Thank you. Leave her alone. Um, who are you, Mister? I'm Noah, and you must be Yume. Your grandma is looking for you. Ward. I told her me and friend had some special training to do. Special training? But where's your fr... It's really important! You never know when a big monster will attack the town, and I have to be ready to help! It was his idea, but I think it's a pretty clever one. Okay, I'm glad you brought him up, because, um, what is he? This is Friend, Yume's bestest buddy in the whole wide world! 
Oh, so you're protecting her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> Friend says he likes you. <laughs> Do you want to be friends with us too? Yeah, of course. Yippee! I just knew you would. Since we're friends, I might have fibbed a little. I actually want to leave home so I can go look for my mother. You're a traveler, aren't ya? Uh. I promise I'll do whatever I'm told, and I'll stay out of trouble, and I'll eat all my vegetables, and, and I won't wander away from friend. Just please, please, please take me with you. Mm. <laughs> please, pretty please. Welcome to the ranks. Oh, thank you, Noah. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Me and friend better go tell grandma that we're gonna look for mom. <laughs> Wait, you're, you're bringing him to town? Yume told me everything. I'm worried sick that she'll get hurt, but I suppose if she has her big friend and she has you, just promise you'll look after her. You've finished your hunt already? Oh, and you've done exactly as I asked. Wild boars are ferocious creatures. It takes a tough hunter to bring down even one. So does that mean... Let's you and me have a little talk first. I adore the children of this town. I enjoy watching them grow up, in an almost fatherly sort of way, I suppose. Day by day, inch by inch, they live, learn, and grow. Just like how a seed sprouts, before one day it finally flowers. But I can smell it. Change, and not for the better. Uh. The wind carries the scent here from afar. I'd hoped that I was reading it wrong, but since we first spoke, I feel it with a certainty. Whatever threat is out there is gonna come here. It will steal these children's chance to blossom. So I've decided to join you, and that is my reason why. We're happy to have you. <laughs>